Hello, I'm Mark Schlero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of a very cool 1987 GMC <clears throat> Sierra Classic 1500 custom pickup truck that is powered by a turbocharged 355 V8. this uh, video here. This is a non-rehearsed video. Uh, if you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, you know that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. Uh, we are the only classic car dealership in the country who services every vehicle that we sell. We detail these vehicles to a high level and we document that work with an invoice. Uh, that invoice I always include in this brand new binder uh, that comes with every single vehicle. And then, of course, if we have any additional information that comes with the car or truck, we put that inside this binder as well. In this case, we have a lot of extra stuff with this particular truck, so I purchased a brand new plastic tote, uh, and everything is going to be included. Um, the work that we did uh, on this particular vehicle here will be documented within our description. The invoice is actually getting printed over the next day or so. Uh, we just, just finished it, so pay attention for that on our website listing at msclassiccars.com. To start off a little bit um, here in the beginning uh, with this particular truck, kind of an interesting story of how I acquired it. Um, I actually called on a 1991 uh, Camaro Z28 Custom that is twin turbocharged. Uh, that is absolutely spectacular. We are going to be listing that vehicle very soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the gentleman and I, uh, down in Alabama, great guy, we were talking about his Camaro and he was sending me a bunch of pictures. Well, in the background of the Camaro was this truck that you're looking at here today. So of course I asked him about the truck and he had said, Mark, my father actually bought that truck uh, in 1993. Um, he's had it all these years. That's a pretty long time between 93 and 2021. Um, so I asked him, you know, tell me about the truck, what the deal is. He said, well, it was an all original truck. He used it as a, you know, as a driver for many, many years, um, and then we decided to restore the truck. We did a frame-on restoration. We basically uh, repainted the entire truck in its original color combination, uh, replaced all the glass. We wanted to give it kind of a unique look on the outside, so we did a couple things to it. Same thing with the interior, but most importantly, uh, we wanted to get rid of the engine that was in it, and we wanted to put a high-performance built motor with a turbocharger, you just don't really see that very often, especially in this generation of pickup trucks. And then of course we wanted to build an awesome drivetrain uh, with that engine, uh, and that's exactly what they did. He said they really uh, didn't use it very much, they only put a few hundred miles on it, it's still being broken in, and he said he would consider selling it. So of course, once I learned more about the truck and he sent me a bunch of information, I jumped on the opportunity and I bought both vehicles from him. So that's kind of the story of how I acquired it. Um, MS Classic Cars is a Carfax dealer, so in this binder here you will notice that I just recently printed a Carfax on this vehicle that clearly shows what it was. It shows when they acquired the vehicle in 1993 with 49,000 miles on it. 
and then it shows its entire history, again, with the same family in Alabama all the way until 2021 when I purchased the vehicle. So it's got great ownership history. Um, again, it's got a clean Carfax report, no accidents, no damage reported or anything like that. This is a super uh, uh, truck in the regard of its bones. It was just an awesome car or truck to actually start a restoration with. Uh, so again, can't be any more proud of it. Um, as I mentioned, there's a bunch of extra parts here. These are like a lot of NOS parts, uh, things that are in the original AC Delco boxes and things like that. All of that is pictured within our description and included. It also has its original owner's manual here. Uh, again, all of that um, is in our listing at msclassiccars.com. So starting off uh, with the exterior of the truck, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, just a, a minute ago, in regards to the body, um, it retains 100% of its original sheet metal. It was a rust-free truck. It really didn't require any uh, serious body work or anything like that. Um, so they just kind of uh, did a little bit of work, uh, you know, as they do when they prep vehicles for paint and so forth. Um, then, of course, they painted it in its original color combination. This is a gorgeous color blue. It's got this gray uh, middle accent, if you will, that was uh, common with these trucks back in the 80s especially the Sierra uh, Classics is what they refer to them as. Um, and then after the vehicle was painted, obviously it was wet sanded and buffed. It looks absolutely beautiful. Um, they wanted to go ahead and replace all the glass. What ends up happening is once you paint something and you give it a nice paint job, of course, now you start to pay attention to all the other items. And uh, they decided to go with tinted glass. So the windshield's been replaced. Um, the door glasses have been replaced and also this window here in the back. Uh, I think the only original glass is this actually vent window here. Um, then of course, everything on the exterior was replaced. Uh, the dual mirrors, uh, these are brand new. Uh, the bumpers are new. A lot of the stuff that you see on the exterior uh, was replaced brand new. All of the receipts and everything is in this binder that I have here for all of that work that was done. Um, the custom features that it has on the exterior is the HID headlights, and it also has a H&H &H, uh, bed cover uh, on the rear that actually rolls up to the, the cab here so which allows you to use the uh, the bed and everything else and then of course you can roll it back and snap it in pretty cool um, it also sits on uh, custom wheels these are actually boss uh, these are really uh, sweet wheels they fit this truck really well uh, they're kind of a gray uh, in the center which somewhat match this stripe here and then of course they have like a polished lip and then they're wrapped with uh, Goodyear tires. I thought that was a great choice for this truck uh, to go with the 20 inch wheels, especially the Boss, which is kind of a, a nostalgic look with that Torque Star style uh, design. Uh, getting into the <coughs> interior of the truck, uh, the interior is absolutely spectacular. A lot of this interior is actually still original. Um, there are some things in here that were not replaced and there were some things that were, um, but looking at the headliner, it's in beautiful condition. Um, I think, uh, based on my information I gathered, I think he did a new headliner. Um, the dash is absolutely beautiful. All the gauges are crystal clear. I know the steering wheel's original. I know the column. It's got a tilt steering column. That's original. Um, I know the door panels are original. They're in beautiful shape. Make sure to check out all the photos, uh, again, on our website so you can clearly see how nice all of this is. Um, these trucks came... Uh, equipped pretty nicely from the factory. I'm referring to the Sierra Classic. Um, so this truck does have air conditioning, which has been retrofitted. It blows ice, ice cold. The other day we were driving the truck in like 95 degree weather. It was like an ice box inside this cabin. Uh, so again, it's got air conditioning. Uh, it's got a, a original style radio that works beautiful, AM, FM, uh, and so forth. It does have power door locks. It also has power windows. Um, everything again is in working order. I know this bench seat here was reupholstered. Um, it's got brand new carpeting. Uh, it's got these really nice custom floor mats. Again, uh, can't say enough about this interior. Um, to touch on a few of the custom features, it does have this uh, pillar pod. Uh, these are auto meter, um, pro comp, ultra light gauges, uh, which again, you can see in the photos. One is for the boost for the turbocharger and the other one is the water temperature. So it just gives it that little custom touch. And also, um, when you open the doors, uh, there is an LED light that lights up the uh, floor and so forth. That was another upgrade that they did as well. Uh, let me just check my notes and make sure there's nothing else here that I'm missing. Uh, that pretty much, yeah, covers 
uh, all of the interior. The back of the bed um, was actually rhino lined. Uh, it's nothing special back there. Again, it was just sprayed with rhino liner. I'm not sure exactly when that was done, if it was done during the restoration or prior to, uh, but it's in nice condition back there, nothing to, to brag about. Um, but getting into the heart of the uh, vehicle here is the engine itself. This is really what um, persuaded me to want to buy this truck and try to make a <clears throat> package deal with him, as I mentioned earlier. Um, you very rarely do you find trucks like this with an engine compartment that looks like that. So. Uh, the engine was actually built, I'm just going to reference my notes here, by Dutton Performance, which if you Google them, they're a pretty well-known engine facility. Um, obviously, this was a 5.7, they, uh, 350, they built it and so forth. It's a 355 now. It's an intercooled, very important that people know it's intercooled. It's a Garrett 60-1 uh, turbocharger. Um, the engine was completely rebuilt with tons of high-end parts. Uh, just to give you an example of some of the parts that are inside this motor. Sometimes uh, when you get these newer motors out of uh, you know, cars and so forth, a lot of times they have mileage on them, they've been used, abused, and then sometimes people just slap a turbocharger on them. That is not what happened in this situation. We have all the documentation for what was done to the engine. Once again, I'll read off some of the things here. Wiseco Forge pistons, uh, Manly Forge push rods, Manly rods, uh, valves, K-Motion valve springs, bronze uh, valve guide, cleavage uh, rod bearings, bullet camshaft, uh, Cloyd's performance uh, chain set, performance harmonic, uh, harmonic balancer, melling oil pump, ARP rocker stud set. It's got Z28 uh, tune port heads, you'll probably notice that. Uh, it's got the tune port intake, it's got 42 pound uh, injectors, performance fuel pump, um, it's got a street fire multi-spark ignition, uh, I mean, the entire vehicle here runs on a custom e, uh, ECU with chip and USB port for live tuning. Uh, so it is a really, really sweet setup. We never actually dyno the truck, so I don't know what the horsepower is. Based on what we've uh, gathered and so forth, it's probably somewhere in the four to 500 uh, horsepower range. Um, but again, a really sweet motor. This thing pulls like nobody's business. It runs absolutely beautiful. The engine is actually um, cooled by a heavy duty aluminum radiator. This is where sometimes people do certain things and then they stop. He did not stop uh, when it comes time for uh, making sure he set up the drive line perfectly. Uh, this thing actually uh, cools super nice. Again, we had it in hot weather with the air conditioning on. We were driving it all around, and this thing never, ever got hot. It ran beautiful, and again, that's because it has that oversized aluminum radiator. Um, getting into the uh, exhaust system, it has a set of custom headers. Uh, again, there's no manifolds. They went right with a custom header and a custom 3-inch stainless steel exhaust system with Flowmaster mufflers. Nothing sounds better uh, than an American Flowmaster muffler, especially when you put a 355 uh, behind it and so forth. Um, the engine is coupled to a Mad Dog. Mad Dog's a company who does transmissions. They're very well known. It's a 700 R4 automatic transmission, so obviously it's a four-speed, great transmissions. Um, it's their level four transmission, which can handle up to 800 horsepower. Um, it also has a heavy-duty transmission cooler, so once again, he upgraded the radio, uh, radiator, he upgraded the transmission, he upgraded it with a cooler, uh, didn't cut any corners. Uh, the heavy duty drive shaft um, spins the 10 bolt uh, rear end with true track carrier, so it's a posi rear end. It's got Mosier 31 uh, spline axles and it's got a custom differential cover. Um, when we got the truck at MS Classic Cars, uh, the undercarriage was original. We were super impressed with how nice it was. We wanted to take it to the next level, so we'll take the credit for redoing the undercarriage. Uh, our detailers, uh, Rainey and Chris, took care of all that. They did a beautiful job. They washed it all down, scuffed it up. They painted it multiple times. A lot of the parts and pieces you clearly will see uh, in our website description and in this video how nice the undercarriage is. It came out beautiful, and again, all of that is original. There was no sheet metal replacement. There was no work under there. It was just painted uh, and made look really nice and again that paint is great for durability uh, down the road. Um, everything has been restored or replaced. Um, again the power steering system, um, the power braking system, the suspension components. Um, it is equipped with dual gas tanks. There's a switch in here that you can actually switch 
Uh, the gas tank silver, which is a cool option. Um, it does have a bell leveling kit, so the truck does sit a little bit higher than obviously it would from the factory. And it does have Bilstein shocks at all four corners that you again will see when you look at our undercarriage photos. So that pretty much wraps up everything. Um, we appreciate you watching this video. Uh, if you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, uh, please do that at msclassiccars.com. That is the best way to follow us. If you have not followed us on social media yet, we would appreciate if you do that. We're on all the networks. Again, we're doing great things at MS Classic Cars. We really appreciate uh, your interest in this truck here, watching this video, and uh, we look forward to bringing you more to come. And remember that 91 Chevy Camaro that I told you about, uh, the Z28, that is twin turbocharged, is coming soon. So again, thanks so much. I'm gonna go ahead and start this baby. Let you listen to how beautiful she runs. Fires right up, hers like a kitten. Runs absolutely spectacular. Runs, drives, like Thanks again for watching.